that we need to do is understand what is this data that we're looking at. When we look at the data, what we understand is that we have 10 columns and 10 rows, 10 corresponding rows per column. And the particular data we are looking at is actually times that represent how long I did a specific exercise at the gym over the course of 10 practice sessions. So when, let's get started with how to actually make a chart. So what we do is we left click on A1, drag all the way to the, all the data that we want. Then what we do is insert chart. It defaults to a stacked line graph here. And what we want to click is use column A, or actually, sorry, use row one as headers. That gives us each day. Now we don't want to use this because when we look at the data here, it's actually additive. And we don't want to actually be comparing days by looking at how much space is under each of these lines. That's kind of difficult. We actually want to see these days as individual days. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to charts. We're going to go to line. And then instead of just doing a normal line chart, we're actually going to use a smooth line chart just because it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Um, now, the one thing to understand about this is that we want to make it clear and give it x axes that say, oh, this was set one, set two, set three, set four of the exercise. And each set corresponds to the rows. Um, which reminds me, we actually need to go back to our data. So let's go back to our data, select it, cut it, then paste it, and add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that will give us labels that we can use when we make our chart. So sometimes we have to understand that when we move our data around, that we may have to like manipulate our data to create an accurate chart. So here we are, we're going to select A1, select all our data, come up, click this button on the toolbar, insert chart, go to charts, line, smooth line, now go back to start, use row 1 as headers, and use column A as labels. That way we actually have a graph that shows us how we did over the course of a workout. As you can see, on day seven, we did really well in the middle of the workout. So let's talk about how to customize and take our chart title and change that. So let's go to the Customize tab. Chart title, intro, workout, times. To edit our axes, we scroll down. Horizontal axis title. We want it to be set number or sets of number of sets of set number. Oops. As you can see, if we click, if we forget to click in here and start typing, it actually starts typing in our data field, and we don't want that. So let's go up here, click inside of title, number, or set number. Then, once we have that, we can change the grid lines by saying our max and min, 0 to 10. Right? Grid lines, we want 10 grid lines, just because I like that personally. Um, I'm sorry, this actually should be 1 to 10. Yeah, 1 to 10. Now, we come up, we go to vertical axes by clicking on inside of this little box, left vertical, min, max are fine, but we want to change this to say time and seconds. Now we have a graph that actually tells us all about how we did inside of workouts. And sort of you can see the progress throughout the days by, because um, although row 10 is kind of an outlier, um, the general trend team was upwards in terms of how we did in each day. Now we come here, we click insert. And we have a graph. There we go. It looks good to me. All right, thank you for watching this tutorial.